A toddler died from a gunshot wound at his home in Arlington. Yeah, police say the boy, who would have turned three in just a couple of weeks, was in a room alone when he found that gun and fired it. Fox Sports Peyton Yeager joining us now with the child death investigation. Peyton. Heather, no charges have been filed right now, and Arlington police tell me it's still unclear if charges will be filed. Arlington investigators spent the day interviewing people who were inside the home. They tell me they have more interviews tomorrow. Investigators are still trying to figure out who the gun belonged to. Inside this Arlington home, police say early Tuesday morning, a two-year-old boy found a gun in his older brother's room and accidentally fired it. The toddler was shot in the face and later died at the hospital. According to the Tarrant County Medical Examiner, the two-year-old has been identified as Rio Carrington, who would have turned three this month. My mother heard the sirens and everything when it came. It was like maybe 12, 30, 1 o'clock in the morning. When Davion McConnell left for work hours later, he says Arlington police still had his street blocked off. He like 10 cop cars or whatever. Female caller advised that her son was bleeding and a second caller called to inform officers that they had heard a gunshot coming from the neighbor's home. Officers were called just after midnight to a home off Pocasset Drive in South Arlington. Investigators say a mother was holding the little boy who had a gunshot wound. Arlington police say the boy's mother was home with her four children at the time. According to investigators, the two-year-old was alone in his teenage sibling's bedroom when he found the firearm fatally shooting himself. Currently, our detectives are um, trying to trace exactly where the weapon came from and how it entered into the home. Arlington detectives spent Tuesday questioning the child's mother. It's still unclear if she knew the firearm was in the home. Detectives also interviewed the teenaged sibling whose room the boy found the weapon in. Arlington police not releasing the age of the teenager, only saying he's a minor. When you try to put yourself in their shoes, you just, it's, it's a lot, it's too much. Patty Brown lives just down the street. The mother of three says she slept through the sirens, only to wake up to news a little boy who lived nearby lost his life. I, I could not even, I couldn't imagine. There's no way I could imagine that. Arlington police are not releasing the type or the caliber of the weapon. They are also not revealing if there were other weapons inside the Arlington home.